Solutions Concentration Objectives Define molarity Calculate molarity of a solution given the moles or mass of solute and the volume of solution. Define parts per million. And finally, calculate parts per million given the mass of solute and mass of solution. Concentration. In a solution, the solute is evenly distributed throughout the solvent. The ratio of solute to solvent is the same throughout the solution. This ratio is known as the concentration of the solution. We will be examining two ways to calculate concentration in a solution. We will examine molarity and parts per million. Molarity. Molarity describes how many moles of solute are in each liter of solution. In reference table T, molarity is given as the moles of solute over liter of solution. The symbol M is read as molar or moles per liter. For example, determine the molarity of a solution of NaOH if 2 liters of the solution contains 4 moles of NaOH. Using our formula, moles of solute divided by liter of solution. We are given 4 moles of NaOH in 2 liters of solution. So we place 4 moles above 2 liters and our answer is 2 moles per liter. Molarity is known as moles per liter, so we can also say this is 2 molar. It's a 2 molar solution. There are 4 moles of NaOH in 2 liters of solution. Or we can also say there are 2 moles of NaOH per liter of solution. That's why it's known as a 2 molar solution. Practice question 1. What is the total number of moles of solute in 2 liters of a 3 molar NaOH? Here we use the formula molarity is equal to moles of solute over liters of solution. And in this example, we are given the molarity and the liter of solution and asked to calculate moles of solute. So plugging it in, we have 3 molar is equal to x divided by 2 liters. We can also change 3 molar into 3 moles per liter and we can cancel our liters. We are left with moles. We take over the 2. Here we have 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to x for a total of 6 moles. There are 6 moles of NaOH in 2 liters to make a 3 molar solution. Parts per million. Parts per million is the number of grams of solute in 1 million grams of solution. We commonly use this in pollution measurements that involve very low concentration. For example, the concentration of lead in water. Here we use the formula from reference table T, where parts per million is equal to the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution, multiplied by 1 million. Note, the mass of solute and mass of solution must be expressed in the same units of mass. For example, what is the concentration of a solution in parts per million if 0.02 grams of Na3PO4 is dissolved in 1000 grams of water. Here we use the formula parts per million is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 1 million. Plugging it in our formula we have 0 0.02 divided by 1000.02 multiplied by a million which results in 20 parts per million. For every million particle, 20 of them is Na3PO4. So the answer is 20 ppm. Practice question 2. An aqueous solution contains 300 parts per million KOH. Determine the number of grams of KOH present in 1000 grams of the solution. In this example, we'll use the formula parts per million is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 1 million. We are given parts per million. In this example, it's 300 parts per million. And 
in 1000 grams of solution. We have the mass of the solution and we're asked to find the mass of the solute. Plugging it in, we have 300 is equal to the mass of solute divided by a thousand multiplied by a million. We need to take over the million. So we would have 300 divided by 1 million is equal to the mass of solute over a thousand grams. Now we need to take over a thousand. So 300 divided by a million multiplied by a thousand is the mass of our solute. Plugging in a calculator, we have the mass of solute to be 0.300 grams.